Gary is asking a question. Can you demo how to expedite an update as it works today? Um, first of all, hey, Gary, good to see you. Uh, happy to see you last week up in, in Minneapolis. A fantastic event uh, last week up at the Twin Cities Systems Management User Group. Um, absolutely. I can, uh, I can pull up the Intune Admin Center here and see what we've got going on for expedited updates. So I've got my tenant here, my lab tenant. Uh, I'm going to close a few tabs here now that we've shared those. And if I go to my Windows devices, there are a few um, uh, update policies that we can configure. Update rings, feature updates, quality updates, and driver updates. What we're going to be looking at are the quality updates right here. And so if we go into these quality updates, you can see I have a policy here uh, that I created a while ago. I haven't, haven't modified it in a while, um, but it's just called deploy updates immediately. And if I click on this policy um, <clears throat> and look at the properties, you can see that I have the name, uh, no description, and then the specific update uh, at the time uh, that I wanted to expedite, as well as the number of days to wait before a restart is enforced. And then we're able to just assign this policy to a group. So it's pretty straightforward in how we create the policy and then assign it. Um, but let's go through. We've, we've got uh, uh, some time here to go ahead and just create a new policy. So let's say expedite, call it demo, expedite security. Well, let's call it expedite latest security update. And maybe that's something that I keep up to date on a monthly basis. So we give it a name. If we need to, we can give it a description. Um, we do have a couple of, of notes here. Um, so just, sorry, I'm just reading these real quick. Um, I do, the one that I do really want to point out is uh, this one right here. While expediting software updates can help decrease the time to get to compliance when necessary, it has a larger impact on end user productivity. The chances that they will experience a restart during business hours is significantly increased. So something to keep in mind when you are expediting uh, these updates is it's likely that your users will end up having a reboot. Uh, so Communication is important, even if you are um, uh, pushing out a security update uh, very quickly. Um, so from there, then we just choose our two settings. We can expedite the installation of the specific update. So you can see typically we're going to see the last three months in here. Uh, once we have the D releases, um, I'm, I'm curious if we'll see three months as well, but I expect them to be in this list. So we can just choose our latest uh, update, choose the number of days to wait before a restart is enforced. Maybe this is a really critical update that we need to get out. We can set to zero days uh, so that in theory, all of our devices will download, install the update and then reboot uh, pretty much right away. Um, but we can set this to one or two days as well. Um, so we go ahead and go click next, select a scope tag if needed, and then our assignments. I don't have any groups that I need to set up uh, here or that I have set up at the moment in order to expedite updates. Um, <clears throat> but I would like to just call some attention to the to the comments that I hear uh, that I have here from Gary. Uh, Brian Dam always says you should set one up before you actually need to use it, um, as the first time there's a delay of getting devices onboarded into the expedite process. This is a fantastic comment. Um, recommend having this policy set up as well as a group of devices um, that may need this policy. Um, so if you are going to set this up ahead of time, what you could do is on a group of devices that are already at a current patch level, uh, go ahead and have this set to an older uh, Expedite version and test this. Of course, I have not tested this myself, uh, but you could have this on an older version so that everything is onboarded and ready to go should you need to expedite an update. 
Um, and then you can have this policy assigned to the group of devices uh, that you would want to expedite uh, your updates on. Um, so fantastic question, Gary. Thanks for, for asking that and adding the comment from Brian. Absolutely correct. Um, so this is great stuff. I'm, I'm really happy to see this feature expanded. Uh, I don't know how often I will uh, expedite um, non-security updates, but the ability to do it should we need it is always fantastic. Uh, we always appreciate the flexibility and control that uh, we can have here with these policies. 